What's up guys? Welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. We are out here in the early morning, early morning uh, post spawn. These fish are finicky. It's a lot, it's a tough, it is always a tough bite. Seems like people really struggle as these fish make the transition from spawning. They're tired, they're exhausted, back to the beds. And I can tell you, you can just do about everything. So here's some tactics I use, some tactics I have seen on guide trips, and uh, we're gonna go through all of that. So thanks for watching. We got sickness in the house. Sickness is ready to rock and roll. And exciting news, the pre-sale of the three pound fishing hammer 10, hammer 10 right there, right there is going to be taking place this week. Starting now, effectively, you can purchase the hammer 10. They are due in early mid June. So, and I kind of waited and waited because I just don't like the idea of people having to wait once they purchase something, but price will be $79.99 fair price for an incredible the best 10 footer on the market i've been working on it for a long time very excited to announce it during this episode but we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff so let's put some fish in the boat we're going to go through all the things some tactics you can use during this post spawn time frame talk about the hammer 10 we're going to talk about the new hair jigs and how those things can get fish in your boat that's a long intro good lord okay here we go Look at that thing subtly drop. And I'm fishing right now with the white, the white hair jigs. It's all white hair jig. I really like it because I can jack with the colors a little bit when I add a bait pop or any type of scent. And I am literally throwing just a 1 16th ounce hair jig. This thing weighs virtually nothing. I have to throw with some really light braid and the new rod handles it extremely well and is extremely sensitive. See how this guy's coming up here? He wants it. There he is. Folks, that's how it's done. We got the Hammer 10. This is a tournament fish. This is what we like. Okay, look at that. That is a freaking hog. That is literally the second cast of this episode. So we're gonna appreciate that guy, the glisten of that guy. Look how thick that guy is. That is a fantastic fish to start an episode. All right. Let's talk about tactics first in the post spawn. Then we're going to get to some of these exciting new things with the Hammer 10 right here. I like to use a light, small jig during this time frame. Post spawn is a very difficult time to fish for a lot of people. And slow presentation is extremely important. Um, once these fish get back on the beds, they're gonna be extremely hungry and they will eat just about anything at that point. But right now we're not there yet. So the fish that I've gotten there are exhausted. They're not, very, they're very finicky fish. You can catch them roaming. You can catch some of them on hair, on a small little pile like I just did there. But small hair jigs, small presentation, like this guy right here, um, is what I like to go with. It's a small hook, it's a small hair jig, works perfect. This is a 1 16th ounce all white hair jig available at threepoundfishing.com. They're available in singles. You can actually just buy one of these for $2.50, no big deal. And there's a variety of different colors. There's a carrot. Hopefully I'm not showing those. This is the 132nd. It's really small. See, check it out. This is an awesome one. And these are all available in all the different colors. And you got the gumdrop. Everybody loves the gumdrop. I do too, at threepoundfishing.com. So slow presentation's a really big deal. The other thing is, sometimes, you know, a lot of guys will get in my boat and they'll, I ask them, I say, hey, bring your own rod. If you're comfortable with casting your rod, bring your own rod. So I had a guest in the boat earlier this week and he had a seven footer in his rod. Actually, it was a six footer. And I loved his technique in kind of checking whether or not the fish had taken the bait or not. So I'll just throw him a wink, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because it was a great technique. He would cast it, he'd play around that with that jig, we'd watch it on live scope and it'd just kind of move around that, that fish. And just every time that fish got really close to it, he kind of just like pull up just really quick, get a feel for it. And by golly, sometimes he'd feel it and then boom, another set the hook. I loved it. That's a great technique for a really light bait such as these. So check it out. Thanks, Tom. Got him. Oh, 
Oh, another great fish. With a light hair jig, playing those fish. All right, guys, great fish. I know the sun's, it'll get better here in a second. Um, let's talk briefly about the hammer tin. This is not going to be the main episode about the hammer tin. I will do a full episode on the hammer tin, but just a rundown real quick. Of the, it's a 10 footer. It's called the hammer. I want you should be able to bring the hammer to the lake. That's what I say. Great cork handle. I've customized this to the perfect length, extra diameter on the entire rod. So it's going to feel very robust. The core diameter, the actual walls of the, of the rod itself are about twice the thickness. It's going to give you a lot of durability and it's going to give you the feel, the actual tactical feel that you need on a 10 footer, which I absolutely love. And then actually I messed with the, the amount of tip action to give it the ability to really whip out those smaller baits, which is what I do on a daily basis. Okay. This, this rod is robust. This rod is sensitive. This rod has everything you could possibly want on a 10 footer. And I believe in 10 footers and I always will because you can pitch, you can cast, you can do everything drop vertically and get far enough away from the trolling motor to do all these things. So it's my number one rod in my boat and the hammer 10, I cannot wait for it to finally arrive. And the only difference between this rod right here, and the actual rod itself that's going to be coming is that there will be a logo here that'll say hammer tin that's the only thing it's just a beautiful nice fade to a nice maroon color right here a nice red maroon color from black and all the eyelets are double reinforced just an absolute robust 10 footer the best on the market no doubt worked on it for about two years behind the scenes in case you know i ever decided to go out on my own in terms of developing my own rod so at three poundfishing.com you can pre-sale is started now you can check it out that's all i'm going to say about it in this episode but check it out you're going to love it uh, and the price point is a great price point but this is truly the best 10 footer signature series the hammer 10 you'll see it on the website now let's put more fish in the boat bring up a point when we talk about post spawn having a rod that is versatile i like to say that a rod that is fluid i want to be able to maneuver change my tactics extremely quickly and i can do that with a 10 footer now what i can't do is i can't do that with a 13 footer i can't do that with some of these longer 16 footers that people come out with um, i will be coming out with those longer rods don't get me wrong i'm just saying that my daily rod that i use is a 10 footer because of how fluid it can be i can change tactics immediately this guy this guy's gonna bite this oh did he really put the brakes on, on that one are you kidding me oh there it is man that is the the playability of a light hair jig oh my goodness Hammer 10 strikes again. Good fish here, man. Good fish. Now these hair jigs, you know, I've said it and I'll say it time and time again, they're available in combo packs and they're only like $9 for four of them. Something like that, something ridiculous. So check them out at threepoundfishing.com. This is a look at the combo pack right here. That's a combo pack. I think it's like $9 straight up. So can't beat that get three great four great jigs those are the ones that uh those are the ones i like i like those that's why they're part of it um i seem to have success on most all muddy water even clear body water lakes like my my own mine has around four foot of visibility even sometimes more right now more but anyway just great now this rod is robust it just doesn't get any better uh so check out the hammer 10 at threepoundfishing.com there'll be uh select bait stores that will have them as well ptg i know will have them for sure uh, but the pre-stale starts now and it has only starting on threepoundfishing.com so go there <laughs>